happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you've had a great week. Um, I, it, it, it was an interesting week. Um, my bestie and I worked night shift the last two nights. And so, of course, that's totally off kilter for both of us. But she was a trooper and she's orientating. So she did it with me because um, I had committed to it before I knew she was orientating. So, so thank you, Davina. I'm so happy that we got to spend the last two nights together, literally. Um, and it wasn't terrible. It wasn't too bad. A little rough at times, but not too bad. So I hope that my coworkers, I don't know that they watch this, but three of them went to Florida and they looked like they were having a great time on what I seen on Facebook. So, um, I'm trying to, I thought my Facebook would, my computer, there it is. Um, I was a little bit late because I was trying to figure out if there was a way for me to go landscape. I thought you could do landscape on Facebook if you started that way, but it doesn't seem to, I can't figure it out. So I don't know. I did figure out how to save to, save to my group though. So um, maybe a few more people will see it. And see, then this doesn't tell me who's on here. Somebody comes on and it doesn't tell me who. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll, I need to switch to StreamYard or something. I don't know. But, so it is catalog day. Yay! We can finally look at the inside. That was the one advantage to working night shift is I was awake. So I got my order placed at like 2 o'clock in the morning. My time. Um, only because it took me a while because I was like on my iPad so I was having to put all those numbers in that way um, but I did probably the largest order I've ever made at one time I made orders in a month that way but not all at one time so but I have a paper share that some uh, people have signed up for so I had to order all that paper and so it took a little bit um, also I got some more same sets and I'm um, looking forward to uh, just buzzing with ideas. So it'll be great. We'll have lots of new mini classes coming up, that's for sure. Um, today, I'm going to do Apple Harvest. Apple Harvest is a set that's been with us a couple times, but I know a couple of my team members really want us liking that set. Um, so I've made some new cards with it. And I'm using the Neutral DSP um, I didn't get all the designer series papers when I could pre-order, so I only had that one. And But I think it's great. I think it lends great to this um, stamp set. And But if you get the kit, your colors may vary from what I showed tonight, because I don't want to buy five of that one paper just for card kits. So it's going to be in the neutral category, but I'll all coordinate, I promise. Um, let's see. I, I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I said last week that I had a new team member, Mimi. Um, so she's already starting to fall in love with stuff, which is the way we want. And I am not sure if Joyce is aware of this. If you're watching this, Miss Joyce, you made Bronze Elite. So she um, is my, one of my, not the newest, but the, the previous team members signed up and just like, a few months ago and she's already just loving things and wanting to work with it so much I think that's great and she doesn't know it, but she got a little present coming I ordered it this morning so it'll probably take a week or two but um, I'm just super excited for her and um, excited for how things are going so we are going I want to move my camera down so I can show you a little bit in the new catalog that I liked and um, and then we'll do the cards because this is our card kit for this month or this week I should say so I do have the link down below um, that you can just shop directly with me so here we go oops I think I'm trying to take my phone out of the socket I don't know if this is going to be upside down might be all right, I'm gonna turn you again, sorry. Oh, 
Is that better? No, you want it this way, don't you? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which way is not upside down for you. All right. So this is the new catalog, and I don't know if I can get the whole um, thing in it, but I love the colors because I just, I love all these colors together. I do get mine um, laminated, so it's going to have a glare because um, I add a couple things. So, so of course, when you open it up, it's got just um, a table of contents. Um, there's just some stuff about the company and like the new color refresh. So this um, book has um, 11 new or, or returning colors. So 11 went away, 11 are here. 10 technically, because fresh phrases stayed. But this is a way to look at them all. And then we open up and of course paper pumpkin. And let's talk about, so I know I did some swap cards with this stamp set. Um, but I love the paper. I love this DSP. I love this um, acetate paper. And you always get really great ideas along. This is a suite, so you can order the suite um, in one number if you'd like. And so that one, of course. This one here is my daughter's favorite. So you know we'll be, we will be getting that one also because it's got a carousel. Um, this one has a cupcake. I'm, it comes with a new um, circle punch that's like two and three eighths. I got the circle punch. I'm not, I, I'm, I almost got this too, so I'm, I may still. Um, we have some carryover items. There's these charming sentiments, but there's another set that's almost like this where it has the sentiments and then dies that cut them out. This one's by a million dollar earner. Um, lazy days. We have the bird. We have the cherries carried over. I almost got that too. Um, let's see here. Lots of flowers, of course. Some of these carried over. Um, look, look at this lemonade. Does that not just look yummy? Um, and my bestie liked this one. She liked this little, um, little like shopping thing. So, and I, the dyes that go with it are really cool. Um, I have this one coming. This is returning. It's a citrus set, and I have it, have it on order. And look at these great big sentiments. Aren't those wonderful? Um, I just love this color. Look at that blue. Isn't that gorgeous? So, some more flowers. And here is our apple harvest. So, of course, it's carrying over. Um, here's the other sentiment set that I was talking about that you can get um, with dyes. I really love that set. Love that bird, of course. They did keep a couple holiday ones. So the reindeer stayed over and then brightest glow. Of course. All right, there we go. Here's my favorite right here. Look at this zany zoos. My little... Anybody who gets a catalog is going to get this little um, bookmark with it, with that llama. And I put just a little bit of the DSP. Um, the DSP has lots of animals, like I've already cut some out. So these are all guys that I cut out of the DSP. And then I used um, the scraps to make this little part of the tag. But it's all black and white on one side, um, and the animals on the other. Look at look at this look at this bear. Look at that set reading a book. Love it. I think that's so adorable. And of course, there's some awesome ideas. I will be doing a full class with this set. Of course, this is the other one that I had to have, and I actually got this as my half price item because. I don't know what I'm going to do for my parents, but I think I'm going to print some pictures off of my dad and my mom, well, mainly my dad with the chickens because he just loves his chickens and make like a wall mural for their, for their house because I, I, I just, I just love it. I just absolutely love this. Um, of course, the other one, um, 
Taco Fiesta stayed, so that's great. I love Taco Fiesta. I'm actually going to make my bestie some um, cookies. I got them cooked already that are tacos and Fiesta, so I'm going to make use that to make a card for a birthday. And then look at these monkeys. Look at these monkeys. They are freaking adorable, and it comes with a punch, and I did a swap card with that one also. So I will be doing that. Um, I don't know if I'll do a whole class with the monkeys, but I'll definitely be doing a mini class. Um, oh, you know what? No, it, it's with my paper share, but I'll probably still do another mini class. Um, here's another one my daughter really wants, these little dreamers. So we'll be getting that. They've already shipped my order that I placed this morning, too. I did expedite shipping, though. Ladybugs, songbirds. I, you know, this hedgehog has stayed, and oh, it is very adorable, so I don't know. Um, of course, they kept my favorite animals from the last one, the rain, and then they have, I got this, so I ordered this. It's, um, you know, I think it's going to be great because I'm going to be making some cookies and stuff, so I'm going to use this to make tags, and this will be my next, um, subscription box stamp set by my side is what I'm going to be using for that. Um, this one is a country corner and it's one big stamp set and you can get dies, which I have the dies on order. But I saw somebody that posted, they took a Zacto knife and they literally cut each one of these rectangles out and made themselves what? One, two, three, four, five, six stamps. So I wasn't going to get that, but now I think I might just so I can do that to it. There's no harm in cutting your stamps up. Um, some more flowers. Oh, here, this one, earthen texture. This actually comes in Spanish now that the U.S. people can buy. So I got the English version, but I really thought this was pretty. Um, and the paper is just gorgeous. And I will be doing a class with that one too. Um, they got some like wedding sets. So I needed that like last year. Here's the other one that I almost didn't get. And then I did decide to get it because uh, my dad is a big fisherman. My son likes to fish. Dish, so I thought this is perfect for Father's Day and I just sold me on this sentiment. I'm so glad you're my dad. I mean, this is like perfect for my dad because he is the best. Um, I got some grandson, so I might get that one. Um, and this one here, sweet and precious. I got to get this one because right here, got to have that sloth. I just think it's freaking adorable. Lots of animals. And here, I love this paper. I don't know that I'm... I'm, I'm on the fence whether to get this. I have a couple grandsons that like um, space stuff. But I absolutely love this paper. And I will be doing some other classes or other things with that paper, that's for sure. I don't think it just has to be that. Um... In this gorgeous look at this paper here i think this one is inked botanicals i just love the soft muted color of it um oh this paper too this is another one i had to get extra paper of because i absolutely love it and this is on my to get later list because i really like this notebook die and this little um like torn paper. Some butterfly, and this one I have, Cheerful Daisies. I'll be doing a class with that. Um, and of course, it, they kept the waves. Then, of course, it comes down and you can get all, see all the colors that stayed and how they go together. Um, they do have new markers. I have ordered some, but if you're just wanting to update your color changes, these are different than our old Stampin' Ride. They're more like a um, 
permanent marker, not permanent, felt tip marker, like Sharpie on one side and then the brush end there. I'm going to, I need to get this. I just decided too that I'm going to have to change my blending brush thing. So, um, there's some boxes. I know the scallop boxes, they didn't, weren't able to get in yet. Um, so, and look at, look at all that specialty paper. I had to have all of that, all of those. Some are returning, some, most of them are new. And then, of course, all the papers. These are some gorgeous papers. Um, I just love the bright. Do you have muted? Do you have bright? There's some new vellum. Actually, the vellum's not new, sorry. I also had to get um, these memory and mores. I thought that would be great for our class um, to go with that balloons. And then this is just um, glue adhesive. Look, oh, this is another thing. Look at those iridescent. This is going to make the greatest shaker cards. So definitely have some shaker cards. And look at all that embellishments. Just gorgeous. I need to do some more with this um, flocky and stuff. And lots and lots of ribbon. So lots went away, but lots came. And I love this jute. Um in the end colors. I think that's great because they kept the other one and other end colors. So I'm happy about that. There's a new accessories for your take a pick tool. Um, I know they weren't able to get them yet, but they're supposed to be in soon. Um, but I'm going to have to get me. It's got a rotary and a Zacto right there. A Zacto knife. That's what I need. And then it goes into the bundles. Those are all punch bundles. Um, I did order a new cut and boss machine too. I'm going to give my bestie mine because it's acting up a little bit, but she can milk it longer. And then we have the bundles with all the dies and I highlight mine. That's how I know what I have so that I try not to order two and then just all the dies and they kept, um, this alphabet, I think this was on an online exclusive, but it stayed, so that's good. Embossing folders, they kept several and came up with some nice new ones. Oh, Night of this is a butterfly. I almost was going to use this for my subscription box, but there's no sentiment, so but I went ahead and got it because it's a butterfly, so why not? And then this is a glossary of just the stamps. And that's it. That was super fast. I hope I didn't lose anybody. Um, but I love the new catalog. I think it's awesome and I can't wait to play. Let's make, I have my card. Oh, here's my cards. Here's the ones I've made. So we're going to start with, this one is a pocket. So there's no back. You can write on the back there if you like, or you can write on the tag that you're going to slide in the pocket. Okay. So this one, we start out with a nine and a half by four and a quarter piece of white, thick white paper, and we score it at five and a half. Okay. So this is going to be our card. Then I'm taking the cardstock, the color that coordinates with the DSP, and this one is one and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And all the measurements are on the PDF if you choose to purchase, or if you're a team member, don't forget you get the PDFs for free. So I'm going to put this down, and now I'm going to take some. Oh, the llama wants to come back in. Take some glue and I'm just going to try to put a thin strip just down the two sides. And then hold that down. Give it a little smush. And make sure I sealed the sides because you don't want to put something in there and have it fall out. 
Then we have a three and seven eighths by um, three and five eighths of the same cardstock. And that's gonna go down. Just make sure you pick the right direction because they're very similar. Then the DSP, um, what was it? It was like three and a half um, by three and a quarter. I'm gonna, I need the paper. Let's see what I thought. So, no, the DSP is three and seven eighths by three and five eighths. The blue is four by three and three quarters. So look at this DSP. It's got little hearts. So that's gonna go down there. And then we have a piece of the striped and this is three and five eighths by one and three quarters. This llama, I'm going to poke, I'm going to tick him right there because he just wants to stay in the business here. So this is going to go right in the middle, okay? All right, now we're going to stamp. So we're going to stamp on a rectangle, deckled rectangle, big one, and a small one. And we're going to use the Memento Black for this. So I'm going to just go ahead, my sentiments out. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment to the left because I'm gonna trim it, okay? So that gets that. And then I'm gonna do the big um, apple vine, just making sure I give it a good. And I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper because I'm already dirtying up my desk. So, I'm trying to dirty up my piece of paper. And I'm gonna put the vine so that Give it a good smush. All right. And then how I colored this one, I took my cherry cobbler, the light and the dark. So what I did, oops, that side is frayed. So I'm using this pointy. And I'm just going to color in I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just coloring these. You could make them plums. Honestly, they're just round, so you could color them purple and make them plums. You could color them yellow and make them lemons. You could color them peach and make them peaches. Like, I really think this particular image can be like any fruit. So I'm going to color these two that are opposite each other in the light cherry cobbler. Because there's four. And then I'm going to take the dark one to the other ones just to give some different um, depth to it. I have it set up so I could see comments, but I don't know if Facebook shows them to me or not. I have a couple ladies who always watch the replay and comment. They're so sweet. And this one, it kind of tucks behind this leaf, so you got to be a little mindful. And I didn't want to make a whole bunch of colors, so you can either... I'm going to color it with my Mossy Meadow. And this one's the light one. So I'm going to pick some leaves here and just do them in light. And like I said, I am not being fancy. You can shade if you like to do all that. But I am just literally coloring these like you would a coloring book, right? It's really easy. I'm not, I'm trying to leave a space between them so that way I can color the darker blend and get some different depth to my leaves. Um, 
let's see. That one's going to be dark, 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 dark. Let's do this one light. All right, now we're going to switch over to the dark blend. And I'm going to use the dark one. I'm making my this to look like just big old leaves, like limbs, um, vines type of thing. You could make them brown if you wanted, but I was trying to limit the amount of colors that I had. So, um, so I'm just going to do it that way. Trying to stay in the lines and not look like a two-year-old is doing it, right? You guys will have to tell me what your favorite item is from the new catalog. I'd love to know. What do you, what can't you wait to have? Do remember, it is taking a little while for shipping. So unless you're like me and wanted to pay for the expedite, which I think was like an extra $25 or $30, um, you might have to wait a couple weeks. Um, it's just been, they've been super, super busy and lots of orders and, um, you know, people, it just takes lots of time to pack all those orders. And every time a new catalog comes out, there's like a rush. And I just did the two-day um, expedite. I didn't do the overnight, so. All right, that is, isn't that pretty? All right, so we're gonna take this. I got a brand new sheet of dimensionals here. And I'm going to take the corner edge, maybe, if I can get it to cooperate. I like using these edge pieces for big, um, big ones. And you can fold it a little bit and then I can just fill in the inside with the regular dimensionals. Then this is going to go right across. Perfect. And then we want a couple dimensionals on our tag. And this, I'm going to put it so that it goes over the edge. And then we will trim it with our card, just like that. Super easy. Um, we have the tag right here, and you get a piece of this silver thread twine. I wanted a color that was neutral in case you know people had to have different dsp so i'm literally just going to run it through the hole and tie a bow super super easy right just like tying your shoe and then you just play with the trim that a little bit and then tuck it in just like that. Then I have some, and I can't remember if this is the one that I colored them. Uh, no, this one I did not. So we want our um, I think I'm going to put that right there and then take some little ones for the front kind of like to make triangles so we will do that and that's card number one all right card number two let's just go ahead and do our stamping real quick while I got all the ink out so this one is stamped in mossy meadow now I'm gonna stamp my image in mossy meadow but we're gonna color it very gingerly because 
These are not intended for alcohol coloring, but you can do it if you're careful. So our apple is going to get stamped. And then this one, I need that scratch paper for again, because we're gonna take the little flower and just stamp randomly. on our tag. Super easy. We're not going to do any coloring to that. Then we have the sentiment and it's really long so you have a long um, label. These I used, I cut out from the dies that they sold. I don't know, I, they were on clearance still. Um, so definitely look at the clearance rack and see if they're still there because they were last week. All right, so we've stamped. All we're going to do to color this is I'm going to use the light parakeet party and make this like a really light colored, like Granny Smith type of apple. And I'm kind of trying to flick my brush so that it's not like you know, totally saturating that green cardstock and it gives it a little bit of feather. So unlike the last one where I really just could, didn't care. And I'm going to try to leave um, a little piece of white so that it has a highlight. All right, so I'm going to leave that little glimpse right there. Then I'm gonna take my mossy, you can take the dark, I'm gonna take the light one and do these leaves. Again, just coloring that stem because I just wasn't in the mood to bring in more color. This one I'm not going to be so feathery, but don't saturate it either, right? Okay, so this one we have an eight and a half by five and a half inch base. We're going to fold that in half. Oh, and you know what? We do want to do one more thing of stamping. So you have a piece for the inside of your card. This is um, four and three and four, three and three quarters by five. And I'm just going to stamp these flowers right in each corner. And then this can just go inside. I think I have it like the last step, but it seems like I never make it to the last step with them. Because it's just easier to put it in there, right? So then we have Blackberry Bliss, which changed color families, because it is now part of the neutrals. And it's four by five and a quarter, and it's going to go right on top. And then you have a three and three quarters by five that I've ran the scalloped. Again, this was part of the dies. And then I ran it through the um, timber. So I don't know if you can see that. Does it show it? doesn't definitely doesn't do it justice so that's going to go right over our blackberry then we have um, let me tell you what size this is this blackberry bliss is two and an eighth by four and five eighths and it's going to go right here to the left leaving a little bit of white. And then we have some DSP and I'm gonna use the heart side this time. And this is two by four and a half. Like I said, your colors may vary, but I will make sure the cardstock matches the DSP. So 
if you don't get this the exact colors that's why then I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to put it at an angle then I can put my dimensionals on these guys. This one takes at least three or four because you don't want it to bow. So this guy will go straight across the hole covering it up and then our Well, I messed that dimensional up. All right, and this little apple's going to go here. Now, this time I am going to take my um, iridescent gem jewels here, gems. I think I called them gems on that. And I'm going to take my dark. Um, mossy meadow and I'm going to just color me a bunch of these jewels and I want at least one big one all right so I'm gonna put um, the big one up top with a couple little ones right above my label so careful not to get it too high then my other green ones are going to go in um, the centers of these flowers so how many ever you need is that it all right guys that is it I hope you stuck with me um, for this little mini walkthrough and these cards because I love them and I can't wait to gift them to somebody so thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next Tuesday for sure um, actually I might make a video for next Tuesday I think I have a team meeting next Tuesday so it will be a video that I will record I promise Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.